Preview. Hey YouTube, welcome back to V Channel. Today we will find out really, really detail about Barry and way to modify principle and relating. First of all, we will talk about two most popular battery types that is lithium iron and lithium iron polymer or can call liti polymer. Basically, two types of battery is very same except from liti iron you liquid electrolytic while liti polymer use dry polymer panel. With using a dry polymer panel, it will help liti polymer make many diversified shapes and can design to make very thin battery like this. Both of liti iron and liti polymer, you can see we have the voltage is 3.7 per cell. This is nominal voltage. When we charge to 100%, it's the 4.2 volt. And when it dissolves to 0%, it will be 2.8 to 3 volt. Back to lithium ion, you can see that's the number 18650. That's the sign. 18 is diameter and 650 is length. And 26650 is similar. 26 is diameter and 650 is length. Next is very important thing that is capacity. More higher it is, more time it can work. It's you milliampere hour and watt hour. Two units can convert each other. For example, we have a battery, 1000 milliampere hour. That means when we have equipment that use an electric current is 1000 milliampere hour regularly in one hour, it will be used exhaust this battery. And similar, if we have equipment use an electric current 500 milliampere or 2.5 ampere, this battery can use in two hours. Similarly, with watt hour, but milliampere hour is more popular. Next is charge rate and discharge rate. You can usually see that 1C, 10C, 70C, 100. That's a discharge rate. 1C is one time capacity. 10C is 10 time capacity, etc. This is the maximum electric current discharge for of the battery. For example, I have a battery 1000 mAh. Have discharge rate is 10C. That means this battery allow discharge rate 10,000 mAh. Actually, we can discharge more than 10,000 mAh, but it will be very hot and have bad effect and damage battery seriously. The longevity is decreased and even burn. So this is the maximum discharge for surface battery. Next is charge rate. Normally is 1C. That means it's allowed for electric charge current is equal to capacity of battery. Higher can damage battery. For example, we have the 1000 mAh battery. Charge rate is 1C. That means we can charge for this battery at electric current is 1000 mAh. Higher is damaged seriously because the battery will be very hot. Normally, they usually charge lower than this number for more long lasting. Actually, with the current technology, we don't need to charge a regular charge current to battery. Instead, of that, the electric current will change belong to charge period because the first enemy of battery is temperature. When the temperature is so high, it can damage the battery seriously. It will design in order to the electric charge current decrease when the temperature is high and increase when the temperature is low. That is intelligent charger. An expensive charger have its own processor to control charge current. The quick charge technology at present is use that rule. It will adjust electric charge current in order to best for charge duration, ability to stand and temperature. The higher clock charger, for example in iPhone, beside using processor to adjust electric current, is also you article intelligent. It will monitor user habit to change the charge current suitable for this habit to avoid charge to 100% but continue charge will damage the battery. One another segment that I want to talk is about which are affect to battery longevity that's a battery percent. Both of lithium ion and lithium polymer, if we don't use, we might bring the battery to storage mode. 
That is 60 to 70 percent, or 3.8 born. If we don't use that battery for a long time, but the battery is very high percent, over 90 percent, or low percent, lower than 10 percent, the battery will be damaged, fatten, decrease longevity seriously. So you usually hear this charge that is make the battery to store it more, 60 to 70 percent, or 3.8 volt. With normal battery, we must discharge by ourselves. But with expensive battery, intelligent battery, inside we have auto discharge circuits. It will use the resistance auto calculate auto realize that we don't use the battery for a long time. Usually, five day it will auto discharge to sixty to seventy percent to avoid damage the battery. But if normal battery, we must discharge manually. Next is the element to evaluate battery health is internal resistance. To calculate the internal resistance, you can use the formula. The new charger generation have sold the internal resistance already, like this, right on the screen. The lower internal resistance, the more battery held. Under 50 milliohm, the battery nearly new. From 50 to 100 milliohm, the battery health is just remained about 80%. 100 to 150 milliohm, the battery health is not good, just remained about 60%. It's over 200 milliohm we should not use anymore. It's very bad, can decrease voltage suddenly and even burn. Okay, that is some information and attention about battery. Next, we will talk about know-how of battery. To modify the battery in general and modify the battery for Mavic Mini in particular. As I have told in previous part of this clip, every battery cell half the voltage is 37 volt. However, belong to each equipment we use is made different. For example, in the case of Mavic Mini is need 7.4 volt. We will use serial connection for 3.7 volt cell. The run does is the serial connection will help increase voltage. The serial connection will help increase voltage, but remain capacity like this example. We connect serially to battery cell. We will have the voltage at 7.2 volt. 3 cell serial, we have 10.8. Similarly, 4 cell, we have 14.4 volt. And we must use on up cell with the same voltage and the same capacity. Because when we use different capacity, the charging or discharging will on damage the battery cell. For example, we connect 4 cell. 3 cell is 1000 mAh. 1 cell is 500 mAh. Both of parallel connection and serial connection, the discharge is delivery regularly. So the low capacity cell is exhausted, but it still discharge. Over discharge, it will be damaged seriously, even burn. And similarly, when we charge, the electric charge current is delivery regularly to four cell. The low battery cell is full charging. Three other cell is full, but the process is still continue. Over charge. It will damage low capacity battery cell and even burn as well. And next, we talk about serial connection. We usually see that the battery have the code is 2S, 3S, 4S. That means in this battery, we have 2 cell, 3 cell, or 4 cell to give the total voltage like this. And the next connection is parallel connection. It will remain the voltage, however, increased capacity. For example, we have two cells connect serially. We have each battery cell is on 3.6 volt and capacity is 3,400 mAh. We have two cells connect serially. It will increase capacity to 6,800 mAh. But the voltage is remain 3.6 and similarly, 3 cell total capacity is 10,200 mAh and voltage is 3.6 volt. 4 cell total capacity is 13,600 mAh and voltage is 3.6 volt. In short word, serial connection will increase voltage but remain capacity and opposite 
parallel connection will increase capacity and remain wanted. So it belongs to the purpose. What we want, we will connect like that. And if you want increase spot of voltage and capacity, we will combine two circuits. That's your serial connection as well as parallel connection. In this example, you can see we have the connection for 4 cell 3.6 volt, 3400 mAh. The total battery we have will increase voltage to 7.2 volt, and the capacity will increase to 6800 mAh. At the market, you can see the battery show 2H2P. This is just right serial as well as a parallel connection. 2S is 2 cell serial, 2P is 2 pair parallel. The connecting of many battery cells to create a new battery will make some matter. Thus, if the battery cell is not regular anymore in using and in charging, that's the reason balance charger was created. It will monitor cell voltage in order to charging is more regular. The connect of battery charge like this. In the rest of this clip, I will show you how to connect balance charger because balance charging will increase the battery longevity so much. About drone battery modifying, we can see on the interior, when we connect parallelly to battery, we will have the double capacity. It can have double using time, but in real, it's absolutely wrong. Because when combine the battery, it will suffer a new weight of the new battery. So it will decrease the flight time. So in real, when modifying battery for drone in general and for Mavic Mini in particular, we must calculate in order to best relating between capacity and the battery weight to relate the bad flight time. One important thing that is safety. Because manufacturer always design superfluous power. When flying, the drone will fly in the unfavorable conditions such as strong wind. In that case, the model will have enough superfluous power to fight against that wind. When we design so heavy battery, it will not enough power to fight against the unfavorable wind. It will help the rest out of control. The battery modifying in general, we have two main methods. Does it connect new battery to the own battery parallelly? It will help remain voltage but increase capacity. And second method is replace the original cell by the new one, which have higher capacity. However, you should pay attention to the previous part I have just said. That is, beside voltage, we should pay attention to discharge rate. It's very important. If the new battery have not suitable, it can cause the bad consequence. In the case of Mavic Mini, the original cell does a Samsung 2400 mAh discharge rate a 20 ampere. So we must find that battery have the discharge rate suitable and the best is equal or higher than 20 ampere. And now I will modify with many battery cells, what of lithium-ion and lithium polymer by parallel and chain battery cell. We will see the result and what is the best solution for Mavic Mini. Thank you for watching. See you at part two. Preview.